Everybody, welcome back. Uh, the song Love Panic was done by the beautiful Vinka of the Swangs Avenue and it was produced by uh, Nesim Pan. He's an amazing producer. So uh, it was originally done in the key of D sharp. But remember, I hate dealing with backwards more so when I'm dealing with starters or beginners. Because I believe uh, backwards are really not easy for for guitar beginners because of the positions of the fingers that tend to be a little weird for the beginners. I usually deal with the open chords as they get to know more about the fingering position. So, uh, but for those that are good uh, with backwards, I'll show you the progression. Then I'll move to the open chords for the beginners. Okay, so. Uh, when you're dealing with a key of D sharp, uh, you have a G sharp in it, you have an A sharp in it, then you have a C sharp minor somewhere, and then the D sharp. But the progression of this song is basically a four, a one, a six, and then a five. Okay, I hope you're good with your numbers in every key. Uh, so in the key of D sharp, your G sharp will be the four. Then you come back to the one, which is the D sharp, then you move to your six, which is the C sharp minor, and then you move to your five, which is the A sharp. Uh, that tend to be easier for the learners and I'll start with a key of G which I believe is the easiest key to deal with when you begin a so, song in the key of G remember the progression is a 4 a 1, a 6 and a 5 so when you're dealing with a key of G your C is the 4 the G is the 1 the E minor is the 6 then the D will be your 5 starting this video. 
So in the queue of A, remember the progression doesn't change irrespective of which queue you are in. So in this case, it is still the 4, 1, the 6, and the 5. So uh, in this key of A, we have the 6 as the F sharp minor, which is also tends to be hard because it's also a bar chord. So it also tends to be hard for the beginners. But in this case, I'll show you just in case you know how to hold your F sharp minor. So we have the D, the A, the F sharp minor, and then the E. Emi melo jakuti, emi mame mi esibi, hey hey. Kiri teke dento to se, continue yo kabi ekoze. When you turn up, sorry about the lyrics. <laughs> okay, uh, but I'm sure you know the song. Uh, so, uh, hey, paniki ngi kutu, when kulaba keno ifawa. D, A, F sharp minor, then E. Uh, so we are moving on now to the key of C. Of C. During with the key of C, we have an F, have a C, have an A minor, and then the G. So in this case, your F is the 4, your C is the 1, the A minor is the 6, and then the G is the 5. Tell me, Remember, whenever you're holding your chords, it's important that you don't forget to play the root note. Okay, if you're not sure about the root notes and what root notes are, please make sure you check out my first lessons. Uh, I explained what root notes are, but they are very important when you're playing the guitar. Okay, so moving on to the next key, the last key probably in this song, uh, the key of D. The key of D. And the key of D, we have a B minor, which is your six. Okay, I remember the progression is a, is a four, one, six, and a five. So uh, your four is the G, your one is the D, your six is the B minor, and then your five is the A. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for loving this channel. I remember to subscribe because when you're a subscriber, you'll be notified every time that I upload a new video. And if you have any question, if you have any comment, please uh, leave it in the comment section. If you have any song that you would love me to help you with the chord progressions, please also leave, leave that in the comment section. Otherwise, I love you so much. Keep uh, watching. Um, may God bless you. Keep safe. I love you so much. Peace out.